So some bad news for net neutrality, the head of the FCC, Ajit Pai, wants to deregulate network providers to give you shittier service while they earn all the profits. So what he wants to do is take network providers from Title II title, uh, classification and bring them up to Title I. So what this means is that they get less regulation, less oversight from the government, and uh, what they can do with this is that if they set up new practices, the government doesn't have to de uh, regulate them on these or investigate. But if they were on the Title uh, II, then they would. But these new practices can go unregulated and they can steal your money in these new practices and the government can't actually investigate on this. But one of the main things that this is gonna, ha this is gonna cause if this gets passed is that it's gonna reduce uh, internet speed some, for some websites. So for example, uh, big names like Google, Facebook, and Netflix are going to have normal uh, internet service, great speeds, and a lot of traffic because they can afford it. You know, they can pay these network providers to give them uh, more bandwidth. But for example, new businesses or new people who want to start their own websites, you know, they're going to have to pay the price. And they're probably going to come up with these premiums so your uh, website can actually uh, be found by everyone. And this also can lead to um, a censorship because these companies, if you say something that they might not agree uh, with or you have a news organization that may, might be controversial against establishment, they can easily block you from being found. So their claim is, oh, this is going to help small businesses and it's going to thrive uh, the economy, blah, blah, blah. But this actually does the opposite. The small guys, the people who are trying to start new websites, are not going to get found unless they pay the right price. Now, this even includes blogs. Just simple users who want to spread whatever the, their message is are going to get slowed down by these providers. And one of the fucked up part is, is that they also want to uh, take, get rid of the price uh, cap. So they, there's a price cap right now so that internet is more affordable. Because uh, to provide internet is not really that big of a cost because cellular uh, towers and equipment have been improving over the years and it doesn't cost that much to provide you with, uh, uh, with internet service. The main two companies who are trying to pass this is AT&T and Verizon, which are completely fucked up because Ajit Pai was one of the lawyers for Verizon. His job was uh, to avoid regulations, to save the money on taxes, and just to do their dirty work legally, pretty much. And one of the, the fucked up parts about uh, network providers is that 73% of America has one network provider. Now, isn't that a monopoly? Ah, uh, well, no, that's not the case because Verizon can say, well, do you see AT&T? They're right next door. They're a mile away. But when you call AT&T and try to get internet service, well, you can't because it's not provided in your area. But it's not a monopoly because it's, uh, it's only a mile away. They work together to price gouge you, to limit these areas where we're going to provide service so that they don't get in the way of their competition and they can actually just have higher profits. Thankfully, we have Google and Facebook who are actually against this, even though they would actually benefit from, uh, from this, but they're actually calling to the unethical practice of this because the internet is what is considered you know, free information to an extent. This is where you can get information uncensored to an extent as well. Um, you can fact check anything. You can look up anything you want. This is th what thrives innovation because we're sharing ideas with people. We're, we're putting information out there accessible to the public. This is a public service and it actually should be mo more protected against companies like these. The Internet Association, which includes Facebook and uh, Google, have been fighting this for years now. In 2015, they actually got Obama to pass more regulations on this so hopefully if we keep an eye and we keep spreading this and letting our friends and family know that this is happening we can contact a gpi and our legislation to push to, for this to stop because this is what's going to mean that you're going to get higher premiums for your service and to get shitty service because right now you're already getting sh shitty service and paying too much for it because the cost of, uh, of providing internet is not that big. Hopefully we spread the word and get more support on this because this could be the beginning of the end of the internet.